Sorry about that, battery ran out, so uh, yeah, spot the colour again. I just want the add, add the surfactant to the thing so that the, the sand doesn't grind the paraffin wax to smithereens. So it acts as an emollient in a way. So uh, it, if you can grind your fingernails down, you can easily grind the paraffin candles. Um, yeah, so. yeah, I'm two notches down in darkness, you know. Yeah, maybe it's only one or something like that. One more. Okay. Right, four. So, now we might want to add our surfactant first. Let's get it mixed up. I don't know where the speakers are on the camera, but yeah. <laughs> give you a bit of a sound works so. there. Okay, that should be enough. And we just get it in there. And so there's four litres of sand, so we're putting in 2.4 litres of our surfactant here. Yeah, and that should be enough to... Oh, of course. The thing is that because the candle wax is incompressible in a way, but a non-absorbent, um, you might want to um, consider not putting in so much surfactant because you're only covering the sand now and the peat, or you know, one part of peat rather than before we were covering the... Um, the newspaper saying that actually. Maybe we want to take this out into the sun. You know, so it gets more light on the situation. Okay. <coughs> okay. So it's two notches down, so maybe that be I don't know. See how that goes. Anyway, they are floating even on the uh, the dense surfactant, so yeah. see how we go. I've got to use my stick again. It'd be a bit like the bamboo thing again. <laughs> we'll, get, we'll get down it slowly but surely. We we'll draw our blends against ourselves. Still look like big chunks, you know. I cut them into basically eights, so that's basically almost inch cubes of power paint. I cut into eights, so it's so one of those is about eight a cubic eighth of a of an inch, I think. It's starting to it's starting to flow, fellas. Once it once the peat gets wet, it should it should flow. But yeah. I may need to add some more surfactant. So, uh, mm. I calculate like I might need 75 because the peat will absorb overnight some more. So, maybe I do. 
Let's we'll see. Here we go. Ouch. Almost pulled, pulled my, beat my nail back then. So the idea is I'm going to probably do, do the same with another batch with Koya and mix the two together because these both have got the same sort of producing the bubbles or things and, and that will give me enough to give, give me a, a, a bucket. It's probably not the wisest thing to do. <laughs> but they do say, oh, Koya is just as good as Pete. And I think, mm, it's a, in the past I've experienced no, but then this season it's sort of, yes, uh, so, you know, a bit uh, arbitrary. Is that the word? No, it's sort of... Uh, I think Ali oh, Super got a mobile phone, I think she's coming back. Oh, the other thing I forgot to tell you about paraffin wax is it will cut the H2S problem. It's a, it's a bit like aluminium where it just stop the H2S, you know, reaction just straight away. So your pots won't swallow H2S if they have paraffin counter wax in them, like this. So, so whether that's it's just a straight chemical reaction or over time it builds up uh, your uh, mycorrhizal fungi, your generic australis, and they re they release antimicrobials that kill the organisms that cause the H2S reaction. Don't know. Anyway, we're almost done. Think. Might need a little bit. I'll just get another. Too much now, don't you? Whoa, almost went over the edge there. A few bits went over there. Oh, mm, yeah. Whoa, it's thick. about it I reckon it's gonna be alright yeah now I'm getting the center core out yeah there we go it's starting to go there we go mud pies just the way we like them <laughs> yeah. it is that sort of bucket mud pie sort of chemistry isn't it and, oh yeah there we go and there we go so what's she gonna look like fellas yeah, don't think I've got the energy to do the core one today. Oh, yeah. It took about half an hour or so to cut those uh, pieces of uh, paraffin. Oops. Bit of the edge there. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, and by the looks of it, you can, I don't know if you see that, they almost don't look like they're being wetted, even with the surfactant. Yeah, you know, the paraffin counter works. So, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I think I might need a little bit more. Okay. There we go.
I think that's it. Okay, then we just have to do the same with the coir and then mix the two together, I suppose. So, uh, particulate and flakiness versus uh, cubosity of the little granules of coir, I suppose. Okay, well, I think we're done there, fellas. See what it looks like tomorrow. Okay, here we go.